Oh, trust me, today's art display is going to be very exciting, interesting and nostalgic, I must say. It's time for some beautiful display of artwork from Daniel Rutifa, a visual artist who paints and also specializes in drawing cartoons, caricatures. If you are into the papers, you're going to like this. Welcome, sir, Mr. Rutifa. It's good to have you here. It's my pleasure being in your studio. Thank, Thank you very much. Now, we are surrounded by our art and I must say that this is immense. Not only do you have artwork, you have them catalogued in some of your books here. Yeah which I'm going to be opening and showing some people how familiar these kind, uh, kinds of art are. Now, you are a visual artist. You're also a visualizer. And um, I see that, for me, most of what you do are very nostalgic because I used to love the caricatures in papers every single time. My dad used to buy a paper. The first thing I used to do was go to the caricature section. Wow. And I see that most of what you brought on here today, especially these, are very, very familiar. So tell us about your artwork, first off. Uh, my artwork speaks for itself. Mm. Um, that's the basic thing, the ethics in the art, mm. that the art must be able to communicate to the public. Mm -hmm. And that's what I project. Nice. I do that through my cartoons, and I do that through my paintings, and through my drawings as well. You're also a journalist. Yeah. Now you worked um, in journalism as a cartoonist. Cartoonist illustrator, yeah. Okay. Now very interesting. And my question to that is, is it a dying art? Because I don't know if that's the thing that, if it's still something people look forward to seeing in papers anymore. Uh, the basic thing about the cartoon itself is to create humor. To create humor. Mm. But these days the technology is making it to lose its taste. Mm. It's losing its taste. The aspect of the creativity is going down on a daily basis. Mm. How much of an impact did it have back in the day, cartoons on, on papers? Then or now? Mm. Then, how much? Uh, impact that it, it has. has a lot of impact because you can just look at a piece of art and just yes. get the story from that it. is it that and you know basically that is the essence of illustration mm -hmm. you are tired of reading a textbook mm -hmm. just flipping then the illustration will tell you the, the summary of the story yeah and I must, I must let people know that he's got um, his, his catalog here of yeah. these caricatures and cartoons are very very interesting very very familiar who is that that is uh, I decided I mean the, the, the man from Ibado okay um, the former uh, attorney general of uh, Ohio State, Donnie Bolaige. Very interesting. You've got Richard plenty Richard of these. Jakinide. Ah, okay. You've got plenty of these in this book and also in the other book. You also brought some of your originals. Yes. Now, not only are you a um, cartoonist for paper, yeah. uh, papers or um, newspapers, you also do That's some real art yourself. Yeah. And we can see some of those on the couch here. If you want to talk us through what we can see mm -hmm. on the couch, if you don't mind, what is this? It looks very digital. First yes. Of all. Before the advent of computer in Nigeria, mm. the artist can always bring it to this range. Wow, very interesting. If like, you even in the computer, now, if you want to zoom a job, yeah. a colorful picture, you want to you over zoom, mm -hmm. you see the kind of breakages the pixels. of the pixel that would separate. And that is just a hand made of such. Wow. And this was done what year? Uh, this was done far away, 85. 85? Yes. Very interesting. Also very interesting. Now, you also have, uh, this is also a very interesting art form that you also indulge in, which I find very relaxing to look yes, at. Yes, yes. Now, this, to me, once I see this, I think about my mother. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> because it looks like those tribal African prints on, Ex exactly, on clothes. Ex exactly. It's a textile piece on paper. Oh, hard textile piece, exactly. That's what oh, it is. So do you do, do this as well? You design yeah. for textile uh, of course, as well? Of course. Okay. Of course. Now I'm going to flip so we can see the other one on the other side, which is a natural piece of art yeah. which you have put together. And I don't know why, but looking at it, it just emotes a certain feeling for me. It's just very natural and I would just want to continue looking at it. And that is what the beauty has to bring out. We want to see the natural aspect of it. Mm. Bringing the shadings, you know, the hollows in the roots. Mm. You can see it's just the stem and part of the root yeah. that was displayed. Mm. The emphasis there is to give us the in-depth mm. of all the, how the roots were interlocked mm -hmm. naturally. Yeah. And that is what you have there, just pen and ink. Okay. So how profitable is this endeavor of yours currently? I know back in the um, 70s, 80s, you, it, it's something that every single paper wanted someone who could really put together um, visualized art. Now, however, with all the technology, like you've said from before, mm -hmm. um, how relevant is your art form? Um, it's relevant up to now. Yes. But the point is the societal problem. Mm. When I say societal problem, it starts from home. Mm. Virtually 75% of parents don't even want their child to study art. Why? To even practice it. But why? Uh, it's because of their mouthpick nature. They don't know the implication. Mm. The thought is like 
is meant for the dropout. No. That's what I'm saying. And when you have it in your in your blood, you, there's nothing you can do. There isn't anything. You I have a son who has stayed for two years at home, mm -hmm. looking for other admission mm -hmm. until I venture him to art, which he never did before, and he's doing well now. He's doing well. My mother regretted this in 1993 mm -hmm. when he was in Lagos for my wedding. When she saw a portrait in my room, oh, she was begging, say, God forgive me. Mm -hmm. She has reported me even from primary section. You know, those days we have the pounds, shillings, pence, the queens of England, the abdor. We started drawing like that. Ah, you are the math teacher then, and I will open my book. After you have submitted the assignment, I will start drawing there. <laughs> forgetting that the next day my teacher will flip through <laughs> and they will begin to flog me. Oh, wow. So this is it's still ongoing. I want us to talk about this one here. All right. Now, this is a very beautiful piece here. It's a horseman, if I'm not mistaken. I don't All know right. if you know them, but talk us through this. What are we looking at? I call it, I title it a warrior. Warrior. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and this is, is it a current, is it current piece or one from uh, before? Uh, it's, it's really one thing about art is art never old. It never gets old. It gets, it? it's, it's a reoccurrence uh, issue. Okay. You tell stories. Today they are still fighting wars. Mm -hmm. They may not be using horses. Mm -hmm. That's the difference now. They may be using missile now, another AK rifle. Mm -hmm. But these are the real, the, the yeah. real method of war, whether in the biblical or in the ancient days. You also talked about portraits. We have a couple of uh, your portraits on there. You want to tell us who these are? Um, first off, the lady t in white here. Okay, the one displayed now is my mother. Oh. When she was still uh, uh, self, uh, age, though she's still very young, one around, four, <laughs> four, four around 14 now. Wait, how old? One around 14. Your mother is 114? Yes. yes. Wow. <laughs> but wow. that wasn't then. This is the old picture that yeah. I did. So. Nice. And mother. then we have the other one on the other side. Uh, who's that lady we're looking at there? Uh, that's my younger mother, mm -hmm. my late wife. Aww. So that's my favorite. That was my favorite. Oh, but yes. of course. Yeah. Uh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, what feeling are you expecting people to get when they look at your artwork? What do you What do you want them to feel? What are you trying to bring out? What emotions do you want to bring out? I want people to see life beyond their peripheral. Mm -hmm. I want them to see hope in my art because mm. my art must be able to give them hope mm. must be able to give them satisfaction mm. you understand what i'm saying yes. that the the, the 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 other one you talk about you know that there is life in nature ah. interesting I, I want my art to speak that you can be challenged you can produce you Obviously. can be creative after yeah. god you should be the next thing is he told us you should do the wonders that i can do yes, I indeed. Bible yes indeed. it's it's fantastic having you on unfortunately we don't have enough time to, to talk about even most of the stuff that you've brought on here you did suggest that you could do a live drawing for us of course but we'll have that sometime else on the show here but thank you very much for joining us we you absolutely have enjoyed you your welcome. art from here and we're it, looking forward it, to it, seeing it's more it's my pleasure you. it's my pleasure thank you very much sir. thank you very we'll much we'll be back to stay tuned it's still wake up nigeria on tvc